Well, good morning, everyone. It is garden tour day. So today we're going to go and I'm going to show you guys how many tomatoes are actually on the vines. Um, it's amazing how many tomatoes I have right now. Um, but then again, I do have over 140 plants, maybe. <laughs> um, but let's get started. Come on. These guys are getting big. Now, I don't remember what variety this is. Um, because my tag is not in there. But it's one of the potato leaf variety. So I'll have to look in and see which one of the ones that I planted is the potato leaf variety. And that should be what this one is. But there are just blossoms everywhere. It is loaded. And then we got some over here. Over here, and see they're just starting to be their little tomato selves. Which is exciting. We're loaded. And then if you look over here, there's a whole nother variety. And this one has some here. And then we have some here. Oh, oh, don't come off. And then hiding in here, which I've got to clip the foliage again. But, I don't know. Oh, come on. Please get out of the way. There we go. Alright, so there's some here. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There's some there. And then up in here, there's a whole bunch more. And that was just one tomato row. Um, we still have two more this way. And then of course, the one that goes all the way down the fence line. All right, here we go with another row. And if you look, we have a Cherokee purple. This Cherokee purple blossom didn't really do much. But this one's doing pretty well. And then up here, we've got some more coming on. And then right here, there's a few. Some of them, because I kind of heavily prune these guys, so they're not as, um... There's not as many vines on here yet. They're coming along. But there's one here. Whoop. There we go. And then here. This tag says this is a tigerilla. Um, and you can just start to see. They're coloring a little bit here. And then we've got some cute little guys here. And I'm not sure what this variety is. I'm thinking it might be a cherry. Because it is loaded all the way up to the top here. And there's more here. And right here we've got some, I'm not sure if these are porters or what these are, because I had some porters that I planted, um, and I'm not sure if those are the porter or not. And then we've got one lonely guy here, the rest of his buddies I don't think made it. It's not yet anyway. It's still early. And yes, I know, I've got to trim a lot of these branches. Because um, they're not really getting the airflow that they should get. Alright, section number three. <laughs> and 
and there's none yet on these plants here um, they're just starting to get their flowers in so these guys are a little bit of the late bloomers but this one is the black prince and it has quite a knot um, on here as you can see that one's got a good size tomato on it yeah I'm guessing those other ones are porter like this one because this is the porter variety and those other ones looked very similar to those but if you look this plant the porter is it just loaded down with plants and tomatoes and yes I know my tomatoes <laughs> some of them are over seven foot tall right now um, and then if you're counting this is row number five no four sorry row number four row number five is the next one <laughs> um, but there's some cherry varieties. I'm trying not to stick my hand in spider webs because I found a couple of them. But it's kind of hard when you have to kind of poke around through in here to get to your tomatoes. Sometimes you have little friends. Um, here's another of the Black Prince. Um, you notice here the tomatoes are starting to get a decent size. The Anna Russian hasn't started blooming yet. It's really just growing because I think this is one of the ones that got clipped by accident. So it's still it's regrowing. Um, it's got a fused plant life down or stem here. So it's still kind of growing. I'm hoping to get some tomatoes off of it. Um, but I have a tomato back here that's just about eight foot tall. And there's no stopping. They're still going. Um, I just fed them with some fish emulsion. And it's amazing how... Um, how much they're taking to that stuff but yeah there these tomatoes are just loaded and I don't know if you can see them but just on the other side of this there's a tomato down in here. See him? He kind of got stuck down there. And if you, <laughs> this is my walkway. I have to try to get through uh, right now. So this is my walkway. I have to try to get through right now. Um, I haven't had a chance to clip the tomato plant back up, but right now. The poor tomato is leaning into the walkway. But we've got some cute little guys here and they're starting to kind of show their their colors um, right now. And these, some of them are golden nugget and some of them are a violet jasper. Um, I don't know which is which because the tags are kind of everywhere. So I'm not sure if this one is the Violet Jasper and this one is the uh, Golden Nugget or if it's the other way around. I'll know when the plants start um, coloring and blushing, but right now they're all just about the same color. Alright, so time to go through the jungle. <laughs> of my dill that's kind of gone to seed, the tomato, um, and then back through the trellises. I left this space here uh, so I can get through um, so I didn't have to walk all the way back around plants, but sometimes it's a little bit of an obstacle. All right, 
distraction. <laughs> Remember those trellises um, that were just about bare a couple weeks ago? Well, now um, it's amazing how much stuff is on them. Check this out. Look at these. This is beans, gourds, and uh, cucumbers. Um, pretty soon, all these gourds that you see hanging right now will be hanging even more. And then we've got cucumbers that have snaked their way up into here as well, and they're hanging down um, with some of the gourds. And then we've got this variety here, which um, I don't remember what plant this is. Uh, so I'm going to have to go look at my uh, list of what I planted and figure out what variety that is. And then of course the nasturtium flowers are blooming, which um, my nephews have already tried them. They say they're spicy. <laughs> um, But, and I've already gotten a couple pickles, or pickles, cucumbers, uh, which I've got to pick here soon. The pick, the cucumbers, and then these are the cucumelons, which I've noticed today that I've got a couple that are ready that I'm going to be able to pick. I'm kind of hoping to get enough to make um, a refrigerator pickle with them. I don't know if I've got enough in there. I'll have to check when I pick them up. Um, but we've got a couple cucumbers. I'd say probably tomorrow I'll have a nice load of cucumbers to pick. Um, just looking at, I can see at least six that will be ready tomorrow. But anyway, back to the tomatoes. Um, so here's mostly the cherry varieties and romas. So these are going to be my paste tomatoes. Um, and this paste tomato kind of got topped. And I noticed today that it's finally growing a top section to keep growing. Um, but... For doing that, it is doing fairly well. There's a lot on here. And then this one is one of the cherries. And it is way up here. <laughs> so, it just keeps going. Um, but here's some more cherries. Oop, missed some. Here's some there. And then here. And there's some way at the top of it. And there's some here. And get ready because you'll notice that these are Chadwick cherries so they don't have their coloring yet. But watch over here because some of the ones that we're getting ready to see have already started to show their beautiful colors. So if you noticed, I am completely full of tomatoes right now. And if you notice here, see the coloring on these? These are the blueberry and they have wonderfully started their coloring already. So you can see um, the different colors on these guys versus the other ones. Oops, we've got a And then these guys are starting. And then these, which are the bumblebee variety. Um, I'm not sure if these are the sunrise, the pink, or the purple. So we'll find that out soon. Um, but they are loaded along with this variety here. And I'm guessing that other variety and this one are the same. And these are the Violet Jasper. So I'm guessing 
that one we were looking at earlier on the other side. I'm guessing that one on the other side is most likely the violet jasper. Um, with the, the look of the tomato, um, it's probably it. And just when you think we're done with tomatoes, wait, there's more. <laughs> these are the pear variety. Um, these are either the red or the yellow pear. I'm not sure yet um, because their tags are missing. But they are loaded as well. So I can't wait for these guys. Let's get in here so we can see the rest of these. My wonderful cucumber trellis is just starting to take off in here. Um, this, some of this stuff is the boys' garden, um, and some of it is mine, as they say. <laughs> but here's more of the pear, and then this one—I don't think it's a pear. This side, I'm not sure what variety this one is, but it doesn't look like a pear. Um, it does have a little oblong shape, so I'm wondering if it's one of the bumblebee variety. Um, but we have more green beans, which I notice down over here. There's a really big one. Oops. I think I missed one. <laughs> um, I've been picking green beans for the last two weeks or so, almost three weeks. Um, I've gotten about five pounds of green beans so far. Um, not enough to freeze yet, just because at this point we're eating all of them. Um, but the next batch that I put in, um, I'm going to try, instead of eating those, to just freeze them. That way I have enough for the winter. Then my large beefsteak orange tomato. Um, it has blossoms on it. Some of them are fused, which I'm just kind of leaving to see what they do. Um, but this plant is growing beautifully. It's got several blossoms on it. Um, here and there um, and then the cucumbers on this trellis here are just going mad as well um, they're climbing up over and then peppers <laughs> the peppers are kind of hiding me um, right now the peppers are only about two and a half to three foot tall um, I'm kind of bent down um, to kind of be in them, um, but they are loaded. So we have tons of peppers on, which I am very excited about. Um, last year I didn't get any peppers off of my plants. They all just kind of died between that. Um, but this year I have got peppers. Um, I noticed yesterday walking through that every plant has a pepper on it, except for some of the smaller ones who are still they kind of put in late, um, so they're still really tiny. Um, but all the rest of them have some form of pepper. Um, and yes, I am wearing a dress today. <laughs> this is a new one. Um, a friend of my sister's uh, gave us some clothes, or gave her some clothes, and this was one of the um, dresses in there that um, she didn't want, so I grabbed it. Um, they're always comfortable for being out here in the garden sometimes, um, and just for fun. Um, as most of you know, I, for the longest time, would never wear a dress. <laughs> um, I always thought that um, I either looked really horrible in them, um, they made me look fat, um, I just, dresses for me were a self-esteem killer. Um, and then a couple years ago, um, after losing quite a bit of weight, um, I finally started liking dresses. Um, I don't wear them very often. It's more of a kind of boost to myself to say, yes, I can wear this, um, and I look good in it. Um, even if I have crazy hair, um, it's, it's kind of nice every once in a while to kind of give yourself a little boost. See the baby pepper? We got a baby pepper. See if the baby pepper will focus. <laughs> but we have a baby pepper. And then this plant is just loaded with baby peppers. I am so excited. I am not a pepper grower at all very well. Peppers and me do not get along. Um, but yay, I have peppers this year.
and we still have kale. It's, it's June, and I still have kale. This is just ama this amazes me. Um, normally, kale right now is gone, so I'm pretty excited that I still have kale. Um, I'm not quite yet at the point where I'm sick of it in salads, but I'm sure I will get there. But if you notice, more invaders. And all of these are loaded, and I don't know what any of these varieties are except for the Tesla and Current, which I still have not gotten to eat um, a Tesla and Current tomato. Because one, my nephews have eaten them, and two, the birds have eaten all of them. So, I've still not gotten to try these. Hopefully, this week, I'll get a chance to try one. Um, and one, hopefully, will be ready. But right now, I have not been able to eat one yet. <laughs> um, right now, we have tons of tomatoes on here. Um, and a beautiful spider web. I don't know if you guys can see this web right here. But she is from like way over here to like way over here. Um, she's taking care of all my bugs. But the test lane current is kind of taken over a little bit and it's gone all the way over here. And another tomato, potato leaf variety, which I'm not sure what this is. These on here have not really gotten their tomatoes on yet for this potato leaf variety, except for this one. It's starting to get them on. And then broccoli. These two broccoli, I, I'm so surprised to see broccoli leaves out right now, and it's June. Um, but here's the peppers that are still small. Um, and then... That's how tall the peppers are getting. Um, I know where I was sitting, it kind of made them look like really, really tall. But they're getting there. Um, and then parsley has gone to seed, and we still have carrots in here. Um, not sure if I'll get any more carrots out of here. Um, that'll be worth anything. Ooh, I see a slug. Ugh! Evil little creatures. Ew, it's nice and slimy. <laughs> no! Off of there. And I know I've got powdered mildew. Um, I deal with it every year. That one had blossom and rot, and something was mentioned on it. So, compost bin for you, since I do not have any creatures to eat them, besides my dog. And this is why I have to make a new compost bin, because right now the wire mesh is uh, too big, and everything falls through it. But look what I just noticed. I have an acorn squash. I know, my ADD is kicking in and I'm going everywhere. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but I have an acorn squash. And oh, there's a bigger one. Oh my goodness, there's a bigger one down here. And then, broccoli. I have never had a broccoli head in June. It's about time to pick this thing before it goes, um, starts flowering. And I got another one here. And I actually have carrots sprinkled out in here that I forgot about. Um, I don't know if they are going to be very big, but we'll find out. And then the boys' tomatoes experiment is going crazy. Um, we don't have any tomatoes on there yet. Do have some, I think, tamales. Uh, I think that's what these are. I 
don't know if they'll produce anything, but it's a good experiment for them. Um, some of their tomatoes actually have tomatoes on them. And then their Tesla current tomato over here has a ton of tomatoes on it. It is going crazy. And they are the tiniest tomato. Um, none of them are ripe enough to eat yet. Um, and then they have cucumbers coming on. Oh, they have a one good size one right here. I have to pick that one for them. Of course, they're going to be mad at me for picking their cucumber. <laughs> If I do pick it. Oh. Looky here. They have a cherry tomato coming on. But yeah, here's some of the bigger tamales. So I'm guessing these are tamales. But anyway. More cucumbers. You remember beef steak tomato, but I've got to restake up again. I don't see any tomatoes yet. I see tons of the blossoms that are getting ready to go to tomato. Well, when your dog decides to knock over the fish emulsion, you have to do three five-gallon buckets of water because that's how much fish emulsion he spilled all over the floor. <laughs> so, I was not planning on putting any water on the garden today, but I am now. All right, here's the tomatoes outside the fence. <laughs> or I should say, in the yard, along the fence. This is all just one plant. And if you notice, the sunflowers, this one um, is over five foot tall. And then my blueberry plant, I'm so excited it's finally alive. <laughs> it's a really big one that we had moved, uh, which I thought had died. When we moved it, it's coming back. Um, I've got to trim all the stinging nettles out from underneath it. Um, and I've got dill, basil, and lemon balm back in here that I've got to trim out. Um, and blueberries with some more weeds that have got to be pulled out of there. And then this purple, whatever this is, that has been here since we moved in. But, look at my pumpkin. This is the one that I just let rot. And it's all the way down into the yard. I've got to pull it back up so we can mow. But it's gorgeous right now. And I see some poison ivy in there I'll have to take care of. But, uh, ooh, and some pulpweed. But it's gorgeous. And look at my butternut squash. And then some more sunflowers that are tall. And then my elderberry I got from the tree day. This is one of them. It's doing beautifully. I've got three. Here's number two with a tomato that kind of found it. <laughs> um, but look at the butternut. Guess what? There's a butternut squash in there. I haven't checked the rest of them to see if there's any more butternut squash, but right now it's morning, so they look really pretty. Um, if you come out here in the afternoon, these butternut squash look a little sad. <laughs> um, but, here's some more tomatoes. I told you I'm loaded with tomatoes. I'm going to be making lots of things with tomatoes. Um, all of these plants are just starting to flower because these got put in later. So 
So these are the older guys. Except this one has one small tomato on it. These guys, my dog has kind of trampled on, um, which is all right. This one had a a blinking on it, but the dog kind of destroyed it. And then these are doing really well. This one, which is, I think, one of the bumblebee varieties, has a whole bunch on it. There's more. Either that or that's the pair. I'll have to look at it again. But this is another porter. And then over here, we've got some here. And then these guys here that are along the fence line. I don't know what variety these are. But if you notice, you can start seeing their little rivets in there. So, we'll see what variety they turn into. They look like a bigger one. So I'm guessing they're one of the bigger varieties. And then there's some more here that are just starting to peek out. And then I get to walk through the jungle. <laughs> there's some here. And then, right here, we got a good little bunch. And another bunch here. And, whoop, that's gonna hide in here. Another bunch here. It's a good bunch. Another one here. That one. The sunflower is getting big. And then this climbing rose, which I've got to make a trellis for. It's terrorizing me. Oh, here's the third of the elderberry. Then whatever this, I don't know what this is. It's a, I think a weed that just growed in the yard. Um, it's never flowered. I thought it was one of the plants from work, but not flowered so I don't think it is but here's some more and some more oh here's another bunch it's a good size bunch wow <laughs> and looky this one this one is a fused um, I noticed it when I was over here the other day. It's a fused blossom. And then there's some more little guys. Whoop. Leaf covering it. I think these are the pears. And then over here there's more. And then some more hiding in the grass. <laughs> I got tomatoes everywhere. So I said I'm going to be loaded down with tomatoes. Look, there's even some here. Cute little guys. Whoop, now comes the fun part. Getting through the squash. <laughs> Squashing tomatoes. They're everywhere. Try not to step on them. Let's see. Are there any that are ready to pick? Oh boy. <laughs> I think I missed one. Oh yeah. I missed you.
<laughs> let's try that again. So, I definitely missed one when I was in here looking the other day. Um, looks like I got a couple in here that are almost ready to pick. But that's going to be a nice, nice size one. Don't see any more. It's a jungle. Look at it. <laughs> it's a jungle of plants. I'm trying not to step on the tomatoes while I'm going through here. Um. I want to make sure there's not a snake in here. Um, not that I'd mind a snake, but I just don't want to surprise one. I don't feel like any bit today. <laughs> um, looks like that's all. Oh, wait, nope. Here's one. If I can get it undone, come on, give me the squash. Give it. Here it comes. Ta da! Squash number two. This one actually came with the stem. The other one, the stem popped off. Nice. Now I'm gonna run out of arm room. Hopefully, there's not any others, or I'm gonna have to get my basket. You can see I have two big squash. How exciting. Dinner. <laughs> well, now I'm going to have to get my basket because looky there. <laughs> it's a zucchini. And. That may be going to somebody because it's a little bit bigger than I normally eat them. Well guys, I'm going to take my harvest inside. Uh, and that's about the end of the tour today. Um, I might come back out a little bit later. Maybe do another video and show you guys some stuff. But uh, for now, <laughs> I got my small little harvest of more squash. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go in and uh, try to get some stuff done. So... Bye guys, we'll see you next week for the tour and maybe I'll have some more harvest videos this week to show you.